Okay, this is this video is to test a lot of things. I just built a brand new computer from the case all the way up to the fans. Everything in it is brand new. So testing that, testing my OBS settings, testing Kden Live, editing, video editing, the whole nine yards. This is basically a test. In this test, I'm going to show you when Inkscape and Ink Stitch, when the when the trace bitmap works right. It works really good. This is case in point. On a side note, I now have a new hat. And the gecko, his name is Chameleon, but his name is Geeko. Combination gecko, geek. And it's for Open OpenSUSE. Tumbleweed is the rolling distribution that I'm running. I installed it on my new system. So a couple weeks ago, whenever it was, I... Crashed my system, went to Tumbleweed, built a new system, again installed Tumbleweed. So I am starting over again. Lost all my stuff on the hard drive when I crashed it. So I am starting over, mostly. Anyway, back to this. When inks, when uh, Trace Bitmap works, this is the result. It's not perfect, but it's actually really quite good. So I'm going to show you what I did with that. The, the, the files that I was asked, the file that I was asked to digitize is this. So Horseshoe BR. And I actually started to do it with Satin Stitch, but the Satin Stitch would have been way too wide. Using it for towel, hand towels and another size for uh, full towels. So satin stitch being that wide it would catch on things a fill stitch is actually a, a safer idea may not look quite as good but it's going to look fine and i'll show you exactly what i did to create it I fire up inkscape uh, the design that i needed it to be heather measures everything in inches so that's what i'm running with Width, six, height, five, and more or less a landscape pattern. File, import. Um, I'd like to pick one without a background. I think this one and this one are the same thing. So I think it doesn't have a background. So we're going to run with it. Okay. That's the that's the one we want. I'm gonna I'm gonna click this lock just to make sure that when I'm resizing it, it keeps the same dimensions. That's actually pretty close. So I did that. Path, trace bitmap. You get this little update here. Um, you could do like black and white or something like that. It's all basically one color. I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply. Come in here, select the original image and delete, which leaves this. It's exactly what we want. That's all that's we're, that we're left with. And this is a path. So Inkscape can work with it. Just to make sure, I'm going to object a path. Nothing changed. That's good. And... Ink stitch, troubleshoot. I don't see anything in there that needs to be broke apart, so and it's good. It doesn't need to be broke apart. Go into extensions, ink stitch params. Slide this over. And we're on autofill. Um, yep, it's starting up. I'm going to change the underlay row spacing to two mil. And I made it close. Let's go back. Okay. Fill underlay. I'm going to leave that on a, on a two mil. That's just kind of what I've been doing lately. I don't think underlay needs to be any less than that, honestly. And if you make the overlay less in ink stitch, it automatically makes the underlay less unless you set a manual number here. Now I can make 
I can make the overlay just as dense as I want it to without changing the density of the underlay. So on uh, angle line of stitches, I'm going to do a, a 45 degree angle. Um, spacing between rows, I'm going to take it down to 0 0.2 from, 2 point from 0 0.25. And I believe that's all I did. Hit apply and quit. Go into extensions, ink stitch, and simulate. It turned out that this had a lot of stitches in it. Um, I think it was 26,000 stitches, which is a lot. Not lying. Twenty-four thousand stitches. I'm gonna speed this up real quick, and we're gonna see what it looks like here. So it basically looks just like the image that I showed you. Did I show you? I think I showed you. Yeah, I showed you. Gotta remember what I did with it. Okay. So that looks. This line right here was a previous stitch attempt that I aborted. The line stayed. I could have dug it out. Didn't need to. It's just a test stitch. This little white spot here is where the bobbin ran out of thread and I didn't back it up far enough. So other than that, it looks pretty good. A little bit of hanging up here. Yeah. But nice. Otherwise, um, let me go back to that. We do a realistic. I'm not sure why ink stitch colors changes colors, but it, this is all supposed to be black. It looks almost like it's playing with lights and shadows. It's kind of interesting. But anyway, that's it. When trace bitmap works nicely, and it did. It worked very nicely. Go back to my original image. This is what the original image looks like. Or the, uh, sorry, the not the original image. This is what the test stitching looks like and I like it it turned out really good and on top of towels it's going to be even better on top of towels there you go until next time as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one